Hi, Marcel, the wood butcher. Yes, that is, um, I'm back to using the opening screen and saying excuse me while they move the camera because I'm still a one-man show. And you know what? I kind of like being a one-man show. The reason I do, because I owe nobody nothing. Nobody owes me. It's just me and you. That's it. Okay. Today's topic is, uh, let's see, what the hell was it? Oh, 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 I remember, I remember. It was about, you know, I guess this can be called uh, episode like four, five, whatever, of taking stuff that was woodworking projects that didn't quite work out the way you thought they would. And believe me, I have a lot of them, right? But uh, what I came up with, uh, people that watch my videos, you you know what I did with the piece of pallet wood and the old eagle from an old flagpole and, you know, finished it, sanded it nice. Well, the finished product other than the uh, the only thing that's missing here are the the two uh, uh, business card holders, which, you know, if I temporarily disassemble this one that I'm going to show next, I'll put them here, right? Now, now, keep in mind, these are not screwed in yet or anything like this. They're not to the proper dimensions or anything, you know, and, and they're not squared or anything. But it, it gives you an idea of what the finished product is going to look like. Now, I am going to drill a hole directly behind the eagle that uh, I've decided to just do one American flag. Custom, I can drill more with an 18 degree angle to put an American flag or a branch of service flag. I can drill one hole two holes, three holes, whatever. I can't go past three because of the size uh, of the pedestal that the eagle's on. But, hey, hey, look, he already moved. Because, like I said, this isn't, you know, bolted down or anything yet. It's, But that's what the eagle comes out looking like. Okay? That's the eagle card holder. Now, I'm going to let the cat out of a bag of something I'm making special for a very, very, very close Marine Corps friend of mine. When I was fresh in the Marine Corps, I think I was in the Marine Corps maybe two, not even two years, not even two years, a year, not even a year. Well, because I was in aviation mechanics, my first year was spent in schools at uh, NAS, NAS Memphis, you know, a what they call a fun P school. And it was amazing to me how many people didn't know the fucking difference between a Phillips screwdriver, a hammer, an adjustable wrench, and, 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 a, and a whatever, whatever tool, look, whatever, whatever. But I, I digress. So... What I'm making for a man that has more of an impression on my life than he will ever, ever know. And that is Master Sergeant Kenneth Ball out of Savage, Minnesota. Owns a company called Classics Plus. I think it's Classics Plus. I may be wrong, but I I'll post a link. To his website uh, but not right away so what I did uh, uh, give me a second to take these two guys that were on the previous one that are not attached to this one yet now Master Sergeant Ball when I knew Master Sergeant Ball he was only a gunnery sergeant when he had my direct charge and guidance as as an as a marine 
I had now I'm gonna smoke a cigarette while I'm doing this. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, that ain't my friggin' problem. But Gunny Ball. I ended up helping him build his garage in his home in Georgia, him and his darling wife Pat and his two children. And I I feel really, really embarrassed that I don't remember his two children's name names from uh, oh my god. I mean I'm going back to oh shit. You know, the like nineteen seventy eight. 1977, 76, 78, that two year period. But Gunny Ball at the time and my parents met. So I felt so many years later, now that he has a company called, uh, I believe it's called uh, Classics something. I, I, I'll get the proper name. And, and, and I'll put it on here. Uh, but uh, but basically what he does now, retired from the military, he takes your old cars, your old engines and stuff like that, and makes them like factory new again. Right? Uh, classics? Well, I, I, I forget. I, I forget. I'm embarrassed that I forget because I was just on the phone with the guy uh, maybe about an hour, hour and a half ago. But anyway, this is what I made. I knew him as Gunny Bull. I, the day I got out of the service the first time, and then I waited a year because I had another government job uh, with Air America, right, that uh, pushed me over to the, to, <laughs> let's just say Air America. You want to know what Air America is? You got to do the fucking research on that. I don't know. But anyway, here's what I am making for Master Sergeant, United States Marine Corps retired, Ken Ball. Look familiar? Yes. And again, this is pallet wood. The only thing that's going to change on this is. These two pieces, which are not attached, are going to be on the little pedestal that the, uh, remember the, the uh, video I put out about the mouse rolling out the red carpet? Well, the only difference is here, here's a bulldog with a Marine Corps drill instructor's cap at on saluting and, and saying, boom, and let me carefully sit this over here and I tried something new on this project instead of lacquer I actually used shellac and I gotta tell you something I was always afraid of shellac but I like the finish shellac gives it'll take you know the you know the polishing with you know with pledge and whatever you want to use but you don't need to all you need to do is take a paper towel or an old t-shirt and just rub that sucker down and it's going to shine like a uh, oh how can I it's going to shine nice uh, I'll leave it at that right I will be politically correct to a point to a point U S M C we used to say two things that meant. I know a lot of you people calls it Uncle Sam's misguided children. Whenever we bitched about anything, you know, in the crotch. Oh, no, did I say the crotch or the suck? And only Marines, only Marines will ever know those terms, the crotch and the suck. We'll know that that stands for you signed the motherfucking contract. Okay? But I digress. But this is what I'm doing for a man that has influenced my life as a young Marine. 
I'm talking, you know, 18, 19, 20 years old, my first four years in, right? I got out after my first four years, went to work with Air America. They abandoned, or were disbanded, and, and I came back home. And when I say came back home, I came back to the core. And the core welcomed me with open arms. And I got to tell you, my first four years in the core, as a young kid, they were not my best years. I had a lot of Article 15s. I had a lot of fines. I had a lot of reduction in rank. I went from E4 to E3 to E2. A rank E2. A rank I never was in the Marine Corps. I was a contract E3. So my first four years, here I was, a private first class E2 with a hash mark. Am I proud of that? Yes. Yes. And you know why? Because I practiced with this Eagle Globe and Anchor and earning that. Not being, you know, earning it, earning it. You know, unlike the Army, the Navy, and the Coast Guard, and uh, the Air Force, this Eagle Globe and Anchor is something that is friggin' earned. So I went home. But anyway, I digress. But this is what I'm making for Master Sergeant Paul to put on his desk. Just looking at his website, I looked and looked and looked. And the only thing he's missing is a business card holder on his desk. The wood butcher's taking care of that for Master Sergeant Paul. Master Sergeant Paul, thank you for taking me under your wing and teaching me the ways and make me and made me a good Marine. For right now, that's about it. Oh, and remember, protect your eyes, protect your lungs, protect your ears, and don't forget about these guys. And especially with this video, make it a great day and Semper Fi, do or die. Master Sergeant Paul, you have my full respect to this day. Thank you.